Ninja Soldier. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. How's it going guys? It's Ninja Soldier here and welcome back to the channel and I hope everyone is doing well today. So today guys I have another lore video. This is my third lore video this time guys because the reason why I'm doing these lore videos because you guys absolutely love them. You loved the first one about Vice City and you loved the second one about GTA 4 The Last and Damned. So, I am doing another one because, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I actually like doing these. I like giving you guys my <coughs> my own opinion about this type of stuff. Because I, I, I find it cool and I find these videos pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool indeed. GTA 5. Yes, it's another GTA. But I like GTA and I know all of you guys also like GTA. So this is a lore video of GTA 5 of... Why Michael betrayed Trevor. Now, if you obviously you guys played the GTA 5 story and you know what happens in it. So, pretty much right later in the game. Well, not later in the game, sorry. But as you know, right, Michael and Trevor, they're good friends, all right? They're the best of friends. And, um... They've done a lot of heists together, and if you played the beginning of the game, you see them doing a heist with another guy named Brad. In the beginning of, of that heist, alright, you, you rob, I think it's like, what, a bank? You rob a bank, and um, also you play as Trevor and Michael, and you have another protagonist, which is Brad, which is a friend of theirs, like I already said. But anyway, later in that mission, after the whole place has been robbed, um, you're in a, or a shootout with cops. Now, in one, and also in one of the cutscenes, you try to see them trying to get away. You know, get away in a car, this and that and the other. Just trying to flee so they won't get caught and arrested. And probably sent to jail so they will not get bum fucked. So later on in that, right, you see a cutscene there where, um, they try to get to a chopper or a helicopter or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And you see, um, the cops shooting Brad. Now... Later on, after Brad gets shot, he somehow dies from the gun room. And then you also see Michael getting shot. But when Michael got shot, the whole, him getting shot, it was staged. Because if you see, you see um, an FIB agent named Dave Norton. He stages a, a gunshot to Michael. Now, the reason why that was staged is because Michael wanted to get away from Trevor. And the reason why he wanted to get away from Trevor, because Trevor is a psychopath. If you already know that, like later on in the game, Trevor is a psychotic psychotic killer. And he's crazy, and he's nuts, and he doesn't really give a shit about anything. So, And he takes pleasure into killing people, and he takes sadistic pleasure also to torturing people. So that's why Michael wants to get away from Trevor, because Trevor's a psychopath. And so you see Michael getting shot, and he was pronounced dead or he's dead as it is so then you play as Trevor and you shoot out the cops now Trevor gets away and it was like what nine or ten years later Michael is still is still alive so therefore he moved he flees to Los Santos so he can get away from Trevor so and there was what and te and they haven't seen each other on around nine or ten years if I'm correct so Ten years in the making, Michael has not seen Trevor since, and Trevor has not seen Michael, obviously, because Trevor thinks that Michael is dead. But, and then after that, so, and then somehow Trevor finds out that Michael is alive, because Michael retired from doing heists, okay, he, because, obviously, because he, he gained a family back in North Yankton, when he was still doing his heist, you know, stealing all the money. He has a family, which is Amanda, Tracy, and Jimmy. And by the way, those three characters are fucking annoying. I hate those characters. Especially Jimmy, because he's a fucking prick face. <laughs> but, um... So, Michael comes out of retirement because he owes this gangster money. Because he pulled down a house. Because this tennis coach was banning his wife. Okay? And so, this and that and the other. <laughs> so, Michael comes out of retirement. Gets money. 
for this gangster guy named Marty Madrazo, which was to help, which was, I think it was his gaff that was pulled down by Michael. So Michael owes Martin Madrazo money, so Michael has to come out of retirement. And that's where he meets, so he does it with a few other members, and he does it with Franklin. Okay. Franklin, which is also another antagonist that, not antagonist, protagonist, fucking shots of memory loss. God damn it. <laughs> He's a protagonist again. That you play as in the game. So they do do this heist together. And um after the heist is over, Trevor finds out because it was on the news on TV that a heist happened. And Trevor knew for a fact that Michael probably had something to do with it. So that's how he find out that Michael was alive. And obviously Trevor is pissed off. He's angry. Now... I don't blame Trevor for being pissed and angry because Trevor was Michael's best friend. They were the best of friends. They went way back. So obviously, so Trevor is obviously upset and pissed. So he goes to Los Santos to look for Michael. So he finds Michael to his house and then they're now reunited. But anyway, so later on, later on in the game, Trevor finds out who's in Michael's grave. So you go up to North Yankton, you chase Trevor. Because he find because obviously he found out that it, someone else was killed, and not Michael. So Trevor goes to North Yankton. He flies there, and Michael chases after him, and he's obviously shit scared, and all that. So they go up to North Yankton, and you see Trevor digging up Michael's grave. So they have a massive argument, and, and Trevor is like, "Oh." Fuck you, you, you traitorous snake, and all that sorts of stuff. So, Trevor fight opens the coffin, and you see Brad. And Trevor gets more pissed off because it's Brad in the coffin and not Michael. Because you seem to forget, also, people, that Michael flees to Los Santos to get away from Trevor. Alright? Ten years later, or nine years later, I don't fucking know. He flew, he flee to Los Santos so therefore he can get away from him. So, obviously Trevor's going to be upset. And he's going to be mortified and he's going to be pretty much in a bad place. So, when Trevor finds out about it, he's obviously angry about Michael not being dead. And he's more upset that their other friend Brad was in the casket. So, but after that anyway, um, after that happened, um... Trevor fucks off, and you see Michael getting kidnapped, because by these Chinese, uh, the Chinese gangsters, they're obviously looking for Trevor, but, but because Trevor was doing business with Ray Chen, and I forget the other guy's name, but, um, and obviously Trevor kicked the shit out of Ray Chen, so obviously the Chinese people are coming after Trevor, but anyway, um, but anyway, guys, um, Michael gets kidnapped, then anyway, Trevor leaves, alright, he goes back to Los Santos while Michael is being kidnapped and tortured. So, that's because of Trevor. So, but that's the thing though, and Trevor doesn't give a shit right now. He obviously doesn't care what happens to Michael now because about him being kidnapped or getting killed. Because Michael betrayed Trevor, and Trevor does not take betrayal lightly. Trevor has a moral code. Okay, is that he will not betray you, all right? He he will be loyal to you and he will be a good friend to you, but obviously if you piss him off, and if you betray him, then he's obviously going to come after you. But yeah, his moral his moral code is never to betray anyone, and he never thought that Michael would betray him because they were best friends back in Northampton. So yes, but um, my opinion now, I'm gonna give you an opinion. Oh, what I think, right? What if actually Trevor really did kill Michael? Like, what happens if he actually murdered Michael and Michael was not in the game anymore? Because we all knew Trevor wanted to kill him for portraying, for portraying him. So, I think, right, Trevor killed Michael, right? Let's see, like, let's see if he did it, right? If he killed Michael, what would happen to Michael's family? Now, I would say this, right? I would probably say that Trevor would probably take over that family and raise him as his own because he's that much of a fucking psychopath. He would probably think, make them say that 
or make that make Tracy or Jimmy say to call him dad, because you know Trevor's fucking nuts. So I would say he'd probably take over Michael's family, right? If Trevor actually killed Michael and actually raised them as his own. Now, obviously, funny enough, Amanda hates Trevor. Because of his craziness, because since Trevor's a psychopath, obviously Amanda doesn't like him. But, like, just imagine that, though, like, Tre like, what if, like, if Trevor actually killed Michael back up in North Yankton, right, after finding Brad's carcass, or corpse, or body, or whatever, I would probably say Trevor probably would take over Michael's family uh, if he actually killed him and actually raised him as his own. That is my own opinion, okay, that's why, that's why, that's what my mindset is telling me. Because it would be a fucked up thing too. Very fucked. But then again, Trevor's fucked in the head anyway. And we all know that. And that's why people love Trevor so much. And that's why Trevor's, it, Trevor is uh, people's favorite protagonist. Because because of his humor and his, uh, and his craziness. And he just doesn't give a shit. Now obviously Trevor's not my favorite. I love Trevor. I love Trevor dearly. Trevor's fucking badass. But obviously, my favorite protagonist in that game is obviously Michael because he's obviously best written. But anyway, guys, um, but that's pretty much it. That's my detail, all right, of why uh, Michael betrayed Trevor, and and obviously my opinion of what if Trevor actually killed Michael. But anyway, guys, I know these lore videos aren't really long. Like I said, I'm not really good at explaining properly. But that is, but that's what my mindset's telling me anyway, and that's my all, and that is what I think, and, and that's why pretty much, why Michael obviously betrayed Trevor and why he's pissed off. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it now anyway. Um, it, it's been it's been fun. I love doing these lore videos. I will be doing more, so don't you worry. So yes, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. So it has been your boy Ninja Soldier here. Leave a like if you all enjoyed. If you're new, hit that subscribe or follow button or whatever you like to call it. And I'll see you guys on the next episode, stream, podcast, premiere, and etc. And see you guys, Ninja Vanish. Bye bye and take care.